What's up, world? Welcome back to Charge the Game podcast. In this moment, we're going to get into LeBron James and this whole Bronny James situation. As you guys have been following, especially Laker Nation and everybody out there who's a Lakers fan, um, you know, LeBron James has been in the media vocally expressing how he wants his son to play with him. And I've made a few videos about Bronny James. I believe that Bronny James is a fantastic kid. He's a great energy kid. He, The guy had cardiac arrest and for him to be on the court doing what he's doing is no doubt unbelievable you know and i look at it the, the same uh situation mar hamilton situation if i said his name right but the safety uh for the buffalo bills he literally pretty much died on the field and they were, were able to pretty much resurrect him and he still has went on to have a very promising career Bronny's james situation is a little bit different as you know it takes uh, a, a lot of time with these one and done you know nba recruits to see if they'll actually amount to be anything in the nba and we all know that people in the g league can come in and make a huge difference uh like jordan Poole did uh when he did you know when he had his run with the the warriors against the celtics so anything's anything is possible i don't doubt that without good work ethic and you know uh the dedication that Bronny james would not be a decent to good nba player i have like a hard time believing that this guy is just a number one uh you know first round recruit i made the video last week about Bronny james and lebron james you know he's pretty much holding the lakers organization in the headlock by potentially teasing them with an extension on down to you know putting it out there that he's going to go to wherever wherever team drafts uh you know his son Bronny james and you know with recent reports you know LeBron, lebron james chose to go out in the media and pretty much throw a tantrum in a fit and it's all because Bronny james you know who plays think about this your son committed to a team you had the chance to let him stay in ohio where he could at least be i don't know the the record for ohio state men's basketball but it, it can't be any worse than usc and if it is let me know in the comment section but i'm gonna go on a, a leap of faith and go and put that out there that i think that him going to ohio state would have probably been more better for his points uh his stats and all of that so anyway uh Bronny james ended up you know being you know dropped in the mock drafts lebron james lets the media have it before you know he takes his tweets down and i understand you know he's a father you know he's a fantastic father at that and i know you guys think that you know i like to slander lebron james i think that the man lebron james is a pretty good man do i think he's passive yes is there weakness in my eyes yes is there things that i appreciate uh you know kobe and mj the way that they did yes but you can't help who this guy is and one thing i won't take for him is him being an outstanding father now let's get into this report where it says uh, LeBron James chastises media over Bronny James mock draft reports. And it's quoted as him saying, let the kid be a kid, right? Only problem with that LeBron James, you are LeBron James. So your kid will never just be the average kid. Hell, Marcus Jordan isn't, isn't even the average kid. And we already see how he out here going outside so once you have that name it is what it is uh you know there are very few scenarios where the kids actually live up to the hype of their dad and i made that point in one of my old Bronny videos where kenny griffin jr did it uh we see cmc christian mccaffrey did it and you know we can only hope that Bronny james he looks like he has the work ethic he has a nice frame he he also kind of he's kind of built like a football player to me if you watch Bronny james closely like the the big neck uh he has huge legs uh you know this guy is anything but lazy you know what i'm saying like this guy looks like he takes it seriously and that's the downfall about this because the kid is such a good kid you don't want to assault him just because you you may not like or like his dad so i'm not going to make this video based off of that what i'm going to do is separate this as if and i'm going to separate this and, and be fair and that's exactly my approach and i think that Bronny james is just not ready so him dropping down in the mock draft is suggesting that these schools are looking at him saying like he he need to stay another year i literally said that in my videos you see first rounders all the time 
who look like first rounders. Now I know this is the new NBA. So a lot of these kids don't look like what we're used to seeing as far as first rounders in, in the class, like the Carmelo Anthony, LeBron James, all that, you know what I'm saying? Like we just don't see a class like that no more. You may get one or two, but a bunch of the number one overalls, two, three, four overalls, a lot of them go to teams and they're never heard of again. So I, you know, it's just different, right? So him averaging 5.7 points, I mean, come on, man. Like if this was any other kid, we already know. Uh, I was listening to, uh, what's his name? Chris Broussard <laughs> and the guy off the odd couple, man. I like that dude. Uh, uh, I forget his name, but y'all know who I'm talking about. Uh, Rob Parker. I think that's his name. Uh, yeah, man, the guy is hilarious because he even literally just came out and said, Bronny James is a fantastic kid, but if this was any other kid, we would not be having these discussions. And you guys know that that's the truth, but when you're LeBron James, the face of the NBA, a billionaire, you plan on having your team, you can buy a team and put your kid on there at this point. You know what I mean? So I, I can understand why LeBron James as a father is getting mad at the media. I also understand him protecting his child, but you know, he had his child young. I probably would have named my son a junior too. I don't see why not, but you have to understand the the, the scrutiny that comes with that. Uh, we, we remember the report that came out years ago with LeBron James uh, voiced his opinion and, and said that he wished that he never named his son after him because of how people are going to look at his son. And I get him wanting to draft his son so that his son can play next to him. He can kind of be a shield for his son, his first uh, one or two years so that he gets the hang of the NBA. And LeBron James may feel that by him job shadowing or pretty much shadowing LeBron James, Bronny James, if Bronny James is shadowing LeBron James, then he can probably learn the ins and outs of the league and also the rules and adapt to where when LeBron James walks away, his dad feels more comfortable because without LeBron James near him, you guys know, man, they're the defenders or the people in the league are going to try to torture him just like Pat Bev did to Lonzo Ball. Let's continue to read this report where it says LeBron James was once the number one overall pick in the NBA draft, but his son's professional future isn't quite as clear. And that's something that, uh, you know, I voiced in my last video. Once again, I stated that Bronny James, in your eyes, LeBron James, you may feel like he is you. You see him every day. You birthed him. You held him as a baby. You probably fixed his milk bottles. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a lot of it's a lot of ties to a father and son. And sometimes it'll keep you blind because I know that LeBron James doesn't want to say that his son uh, is, is trash, but uh, LeBron James, you get mad at your own teammates who score way more than 5.7 points. And you literally look at his body language. This is something that, okay, don't get mad if you see your son go to another team and the star player acts like you when your son shoots the ball and he misses it or lays it up and he misses it or he blows a defender, he blows his coverage. And the body language that they're giving him is the same body language that you give the current people and the young uh, talent that's on that Laker uh, roster right now so he may look like LeBron James at 18 and 19 to you but LeBron James the, the truth of the matter is like I said in my last video I would rather take Caitlin Clark Caitlin Clark is a far more better basketball player than Bronny James right now she may not be as strong but if I had to choose in a pickup game between Bronny James and Caitlin Clark I would take Caitlin Clark no shade it's just her stats versus your son's stats, man, she's proven. Yes, uh, the women's sports is, is, is less physical, but it ain't that far off because the new NBA rules, they, they you can't touch nobody. So that's what I mean. At points, Bronny has been projected as high as a lottery in the 2024 draft, but an all-season cardiac arrest followed by an uneven freshman season at USC have hurt his stock. And like I spoke about this earlier in the opening monologue, he did have the cardiac arrest situation. Uh, obviously, that's something that any organization, any team, whether it's college or pro, they're going to keep their eye on that situation. And it does lower the draft stock just because it's a risk. Straight up, it's a risk. You know what I'm saying? We don't know if you'll get out here and it, it'll flare, flare up again. Like, we don't know. You know what I'm saying? And it goes on to say that on Monday, ESPN released its first 2025 mock draft and Bronny, who had previously been considered a likely one and done candidate, was listed as the number 39 overall pick after what would be his sophomore campaign. And I think that that's best for Bronny. 
they can draft him as an undrafted player i guess and you know maybe just mold him you know what i'm saying like kind of do what they doing with Giannis brother you know what i'm saying like Giannis brother is in the league on the same team because of Giannis. so without a doubt lebron james can make this happen only thing is you know what i'm saying we need to see i personally if you can get your son on the team man do it but don't expect us in the media in the world to just look at your son the way that you do because in reality man like that's just not how it goes you know and i know lebron james that may be hard to grasp or understand but deep down you know you know what i'm saying you know what works for you just because you play pickup ball with your sons doesn't mean that that's going to you know what i'm saying transpire on the court when you have three more bodies next to you uh with a scheme and game plan you know what i'm saying this ain't two on two it'll be literally for the playoffs for championships and and more you know what i'm saying in season tournaments or anything so it goes on to say this led to quite a bit of aggregation with fans and media alike wondering if this meant that Bronny now plans to remain at USC for at least one more season. But the elder James, he didn't take too kindly to the speculation and two now deleted tweets. He admonished the speculators for putting too much weight on mock drafts. And it goes on to say, can y'all please let the kid be a kid and enjoy college basketball? James tweeted on Monday, the working results will ultimately do the talking no matter what he decides to do. If y'all don't know, he doesn't care what a mock draft says. He just works, earn, not given. What I like about Brunny, okay? What I like about Brunny James, guys, Brunny James isn't the one tweeting. LeBron James, it seems like your son is more mature than you at times because all you're doing is bringing more attention to something that probably wouldn't have been discussed in the media so heavily because you also have to think about the way that you contradicted yourself lebron james he's the same person that went out here and said that your son can literally play in the nba now okay well, if we could play in the nba now don't get mad because people who literally scout nba talent are saying that your son isn't good enough but then you go on to say to let him be a kid well are you letting him be a kid when you constantly speak for him are you letting him be a kid when you're saying what you want for him you see what I'm saying? Like, man, as a parent, and I'm a father, don't get me wrong, and I get it, but it just seems like we pick and choose, guilty of it myself, we pick and choose when we want to justify things for our kids. In reality, LeBron James, they aren't wrong, and you know they aren't wrong. 5.7 points, come on, man. Like, you know that, right? 20 minutes worth of playing, 5.7 points. When you guys literally scold AD in the media, you let all your teammates get dragged, for literally putting up 10 points at least it's more than 5.7 so i just want to make sure that lebron james right has the same energy towards his son if they on the same team and if his son is scoring 5.7 points two points three points we need to see the same frustrations it also goes on to say and to all the other kids out there striving to be great just keep your head down blinders on and keep grinding he continued in a second tweet these mock drafts doesn't matter one bit I promise you, the only work matters. Let's talk real basketball, people. And you could tell that LeBron James was in his feelings, probably sitting on his couch mad. Obviously, he stays on social media, probably seeing a backlash, and probably took his stuff down. Right? And you got to understand, this guy never went to college. So he's literally going to back it up by saying, I promise you, mock drafts doesn't matter. So that's all I have for you guys on this topic. I want you guys to weigh in. Laker Nation, weigh in with your thoughts, comments, and concerns. Kobe fans, LeBron James fans, Magic Johnson fans, all of you guys weigh in. Do you guys want Bronny James on your team? If you guys are rocking with the content, be sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. Also, follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Charge the Game. Thank you guys so much for the love and support. Like always, let me know how you charge the game. Peace.